going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their own countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Digital world currencies like USDC, a dollar stable coin, are an important way the stellar ecosystem has been growing. In Stellar, what we saw was a lower cost and faster technology that will help us to better serve our clients with faster payments and better access to global markets. This focus has enabled us to become one of the biggest exchanges in Japan, where we do between 200 and $300 million a day of volume on our platform. When we first started talking about Stellar USDC with Seth from Liquid, I knew the exchange could really benefit. And we're happy to be working with the Liquid team to expand the Stellar ecosystem and liquidity for everyone. Because Stellar is an open network, all participants can really benefit from this new capability. Here's the thing. The faster we can process the transaction, the happier our customer is going to be. Stellar-based USDC has a clear advantage over stable coins on other blockchain protocols. Because transactions on Stellar settle in seconds rather than waiting for dozens of network confirmations, USDC can move so much faster. And there are clear cost savings as well. Stellar network transactions cost fractions of a penny. Support for Stellar-based USDC is really just the beginning of our journey. Our customers really love the speed and low transaction costs that they can take advantage of when using the Stellar-based network. We see a lot of upside to enabling more Stellar-based digital currencies, including JPY, Euro, and Canadian dollars. Stellar is much more than a network. Stellar is a global ecosystem. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, you know, I come back with that video just to make you think. And we know teamwork makes the dream work, and I received several articles inside of my patreon but this i received this video and this is very important to understand guys we know the mission of usdc also we know how powerful the stellar network is similar to xrp and we know jed mccaleb has been selling xrp left and right but we know what the importance is of stellar over in asia and i talk about the asian connection all the time but we're starting to see this global and that's what they always talk about, guys, global agenda put together. Because these cross-border payments, we know XRP is just like Stellar. Stellar, you can put anything on there and move it around the world. Stocks, gold, any asset, and then plus, of course, the cross-border technology where you can settle in seconds. And we know how important liquidity is to the markets. That's the reason why everything is going to start getting cheaper. But guys, before it gets cheaper, we know what? We have inflation here. And we have Trump speaking about inflation. And we all know that crash is coming. He knows. That's the reason why they put him back in the forefront. So therefore, they can have the Hegelian dialectic. If Trump was in office, the stock market would keep booming. But we know that we're only months away from the ultimate crash. And it wouldn't matter whether Trump was in office or not the markets would still have crashed. The Fed printed 20% of all money in existence 
in one year, guys. So we know we're going to have a big pullback, but it's all orchestrated for the fourth industrial revolution. So this current economy, America the Babylon, has to fall in order for China and the New World Order to rise. Because remember, when it comes to the New World Order, it's all planned out. Y'all have a wonderful day. You think it's out of control. Let's talk about the economy. Uh, it is fair to say the stock market is, is booming right now. Right. The economy is booming. But what I see when I talk to businesses on the street, they say that they're competing with government, that there's paychecks being right. out there, and they cannot keep up. They can't continue they can't to work. increase their wages. So what is your message to the small businesses that are out there? Because they feel forgotten right now. So the stock market is doing well, but that's also habit a little bit. That can change very quickly because inflation is going to become terrible. When I left, it was a dollar eighty-seven a gallon for gasoline. Now it's three fifty, and it's going to go much, much higher. We were energy independent. Within another month or so, at this rate, we will not be energy independent. We're going to need Russia, Saudi Arabia, the Middle East. We're going to need all of this. Uh, lumber prices are through the roof. All the prices, meat prices, food prices. If you have inflation, we saw it during Jimmy Carter's reign. Jimmy Carter had inflation. Prime rate went to 22%. The economy crashed. They're going to have to be very careful. The economy is very fragile. You're going to have tremendous inflation. And if you have inflation, only bad things can happen. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come, Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends, so therefore we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the Fourth Industrial Revolution Foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1, King Joshua and Grandma Tim. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.